on the front line Don't worry, I'll be fine The story is just beginning I say goodbye to my weakness So long to Genesis 1295 and tonight is going to be off the hook. We start off with a segment from Chris Rapsha making some announcement and here he comes. <laughs> to episode 16 of Fantasy Wrestling Entertainment. Some of you may know that I once wrestled during the early stages of the FWE and it... Let me find my controller. And it... So happens that my last match was against Eakin and Master 619, which they won. So, keeping that in mind... At Clash of the Champions, Egan betrayed Master 619, allowing the Universal Phenomenons to gain the Tag Team Championships. Egan is not here tonight. We have tried to contact Egan several times, but we have yet to acknowledge... Wait, we have yet to be acknowledged. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So next week, Egan will be here to go one-on-one -on -one with his former partner, Master 619. One nine, and what an announcement! Next week we'll be seeing Egan and Master Six One Nine. And if Egan doesn't show up, well, he will be fired. And not looking too good for Egan. 
but going away from that, and oh, what the hell? Jeremy Stone's music? Why is Jeremy Stone out here? Surprised to see me? No, no, no. Before you talk, I want to say that I came out here for a few reasons. The first of which being that you're out here and you're making a little announcement and yet my name isn't even on the card. In fact, whilst we are, I think I've missed that word, we're at it. When we, when was the last time you mentioned my name at all? Or the fact that I am associated with this company. I mean, you are quick to mention your Victors, your Johnny Englishes, your Mainstreams, your Chris Lords, your Sinister Scotsmans, and I'm fine with that. You obviously see them as a big enough of a deal for them to get a mention, but when you you name Divas, who were unknown about three weeks ago, over my name, when I've been with this company for over two months of its four to five month inception, and we've got a problem. You know, this is the first time we're going to have a conversation, which is funny to me because you've been in this position of power, one that you don't deserve, that you've been just been granted for almost an entire month, and yet you haven't even bothered to say hi to me. What makes it even worse is about four weeks ago, I was in a very bad way. You see, I was away from home for almost an entire week and it's no secret that I have my problems the video package speaks for itself it was reported on the internet that I was missing and I got texts I got phone calls and emails all sorts of messages from these FWE fans oh wait <laughs> I screwed that one up wishing me well wondering how I was doing and coping, knowing full well that I'm going through, yeah, whoa, 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 frig I screwed that one up as well, Jesus Christ, I'm so stupid, Ugh. <laughs> I haven't been too clear about my past and what brought me here, okay, I think I screwed that one up myself, brought me here, but the one thing I can say is having the chance to be alone and think made me realize that the only going, wait, oh my god, I keep on screwing it up, <laughs> Going to overcome my demons and my past is by performing in this ring for these people and showing I'm the best that this company has to offer. But from FWE, I never got a phone call. I never got an email. I certainly didn't hear any messages from your crappy voice. Not one ounce of concern was shown by you or the FWE. You would rather wipe your hands clean and not associate with me. Well, guess what? That doesn't work. I told you last week that I wanted to meet you face to face and talk to you personally about all of this. This could have been done in privacy of your office, but you never responded. And just like always, you cease to care less. You could care less about me. So I was forced to come out here and throw it out in the open because of the lack of respect you have shown me and these fans who have been here to support me. I am sick and tired of being overlooked and I am especially pissed off that this company could be concerned for me or my well-being. Well, I could near kill myself. So all the asking and pleading stops and we're going to lay our cards on the table. You are going to tell me why it is, Mr. General Manager, that you couldn't give a damn about the welfare of one of your top premier stars in this company and why it is since I've been here. I haven't been given a main event slot. Why have I not, have I not been given the title... Not, what am I saying? Ugh, what am I saying? <laughs> so stupid. Given the slot that I deserve and what these fans want to see. And yeah, I've been on a losing streak, I know that I've been handed the same 6 foot 8 inch monster over and over again who I already beat a month and a half ago, yet I have to face him two more times and I'm not being pushed up the ladder, I think I was supposed to say ladder there but I must have screwed up, so I tell you what Chris, if you want to actually show that you care about me, 
that you care about the future of this company. The man who can bring an apocalypse with a click of his fingers. You give the anti-angel Jeremy Stone his main event match and you can pick whatever opponent you want. I'll just prove that I deserve to be the main star of this company and that you should give a damn about me. And Jeremy Stone Out of nowhere, I wonder what Chris Rapp has to say to that, I guess he's not going to be saying anything. <laughs> and I guess that's our start for the show guys, we're about to hit it up full notch and head into our first match of the night. We have Johnny English, an awesome one going one on one, it's next.